Hello everyone. Hello, it's Anne. I'm popping up um, behind my apron. Happy Friday for you guys. Boy, do I have a special treat for you today on my live. I have a very special guest with me here. Come on in, Heidi. Ooh, Hello, everybody. Oh, yes. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody at Hen and Chick Studio. We're so glad to be here with you, Anne. So I'm excited you guys are here. And you guys, I'm going to talk to Heidi some as we're doing this. And then Heidi's going to come on at the end. So we're actually going live right now from my kitchen on my own timeline. But we're also talking to all of you that are following us from Hen and Chick Studios, too. So if you didn't know, it's one of my favorite retreat centers and quilt shops in central Iowa located in Conrad and Heidi is my dear cousin but for all of you that have been following me for food Heidi's also one of the authors of my cookbook so second harvest we still have them for sale and today I am going live and I'm actually making a dip recipe that I know Heidi's family loves too we are addicted to it it is called Midwest corn dip so welcome abroad I'm going to show your welcome aboard I'm going to show you um, what we're making and today is day eight of my second annual ALS fundraiser to help raise funds for a cure so if you need a dip this weekend if you're having a little gathering or you want this for tailgating in the fall there's a couple really cool things about this this dip can be served cold or it can be served warm okay so your choice when you make it and so far I did a couple steps. I already steamed and took six ears of sweet corn and I took the corn off the cob with the famous kernel cutter that I showed you earlier in the week, okay? So in here, I already have the six kernels of corn or six cobs of corn that I cut off and I also have the six strips of bacon that I've crumbled. So it's in the two quart batter bowl, which I love. And the beauty of this recipe is it is so simple to make. You dump it all in and mix. So I'll tell you what is all in it as we do it. So we're gonna add a quarter of a cup of Parmesan cheese that we already have shredded. We're going to add um, a half a cup of sour cream. I'm gonna use the measure all cup because this allows you to do the sticky things. So I'm gonna pull it down to the half cup mark so you guys can peek and see on the screen. The blue is for liquid going in this side, but I'm using the solid side. So we're gonna scoop in a half a cup of sour cream. And if you guys were making this, I have some questions for you to put in the um, comments below. So first of all, for all of our hen and chicks friends, if you've been following along on any of our cooking, and if you are going to have this Midwest uh, corn dip at your house, what do you think you'd serve it with? Do you think you'd serve it with chips, crackers, Fritos? What do you guys like the best, those of you that are here? Chips. Chips? Yeah. What kind of chips? Uh, corn. But just a, like a good salsa chip. Stick in here and say hi. I can say, say like a good salsa chip. And, okay. the, and I always have to say, I love it the first time when it's heated. And then I like it cold. So then I put it on different kind of crackers too, depending on whether it's hot or cold. Ah, very good. So for all my followers, how do you guys think you would eat it? Ritz crackers or Tostito chips like they're talking about? The next thing I'm going to put in is a block of cream cheese that I've had out softening. So we will do this as well. And um, this dip makes a pretty nice size big batch too. So it's great for a gathering. And as you um, see from what I'm doing here, I'm using just the very classic rubber scraper. And then you're probably wondering, well, where's the seasoning and where does the flavor come from in this recipe besides the uh, corn and bacon? So that's what we're going to shift to next. On the cutting board, I've already been shredding some pepper jack cheese, so I'll just throw that in to get it out of the road. And then we're going to add some green onion and we're going to add some jalapeno peppers, but I'm going to take the seeds out so they're not hot. And so I just see a skin on this green onion. I don't want that there. So I'm going to peel that skin and set it aside. And then I'll just cut these into uh, little chunks. And then this jalapeno pepper. So to take the temperature down, for those of you who don't like spicy things, just keep the stem in place. Cut the bottom off so you can kind of hold it flat like this on a cutting board. And then you're just gonna take a super sharp knife and like this paring knife works fabulously. And you're going to just cut right down the sides of this jalapeno. So you can see what it does is it leaves the seed channel intact 
and it gives you these big strips of the pepper without the seeds because most of the heat is in the seeds. So take the seeds out, and then this is a really big, long, skinny jalapeno. So I will just set it aside and knock the last couple seeds out of there. And then I'm just going to chunk these as well. And then I'm going to use probably one of the first products I completely fell in love with with Pampered Chef for fast prepping, and that's the food chopper. So you can just take these onions, peppers, put them right on the cutting board. Besides, you guys, this is Friday, so if you've had a bad day, this is the tool to grab and use. And look at that. You can see how minced it is. So I'll finish chopping all of those. I'll grate some more cheese, and then we're going to mix it all together, and that's it for the dip. But how are you going to serve it, right? So if you're going to heat it, you want to put it in something that could go in the microwave. If you want it to be cold, you're obviously going to leave it in the bowl, or you can uh, put it in the chills on or uh, cool and serve platters. But I also wanted to just show you and remind you about the insulated bowls that keep food hot and food cold without having to use any extra inserts. So this would be a great size, but you can't heat in it in the microwave, but you can put hot food in it and it'll stay warm. And then it has this wonderful hook, okay? So the lid's out of the way when people are serving from it. They come in all different sizes too. So I just wanted to give a shout out to that and then um, give a shout out to football season. It's I think three weekends away for Iowa State's home opener. So if you're a football fan, um, join me at a tailgate. I would love to see friends. But I think that's it for the recipe quick. And the ALS fundraiser goes through the end of the month. But I want Heidi to come back on here too so she can talk to our hen and chicks friends. Oh, well, we're so glad, Anne. I'm going to stand on this side. Uh, yeah, you yeah, guys. I'm a little taller than Anne. She's we are, a lot taller we than are, Anne. We are definitely related, and she's like my sister. But uh, it, for, um, uh, it is definitely um, something that we did not get the same um, treat. No. See, here's the true difference yeah. in height. There we go. There we go. <laughs> um, okay, so a couple of things, Anne. Yes. I just have to, first of all, thank you for letting us come to your kitchen so that we could cook. Food has always been an important part mm -hmm. of our family and our mothers, our sisters, and there's one, there's three sisters, and each of those sisters has three daughters, and, and so one we have a daughter. One daughter, girls. sorry. So there's uh, the three of us that are cousins. And so what's so fun is that our mothers had done a cookbook, mm -hmm. and then um, Kari and you and I were able to do the second harvest, which is yeah. part of the reason for the second harvest name, and love all the recipes. Now, I have to tell you, we love this recipe so much that when we make it, we double it, and we cook it in the cranberry baker. Perfect. Which is the crock. Yep, um, stoneware piece. St stoneware yep. piece. And so uh, I love doing this um, recipe. We double it and then get it all nice and hot, and then your chips, and it's gooey and cheesy and all that kind of stuff. But then I don't mind, like I've even put it on top of spinach, like for part of my salad the next day, like, oh, it's just so good. There's so much flavor with the cheese and the bacon and all of that. I am a little wimpy, though, when it comes to the jalapeno. <laughs> you know me. I skip a little of that, but all great, great um, stuff. And I love this little dish, so that is wonderful. And she already talked about a couple of my yep. favorites. Sorry, yep, I pulled nope, it apart. But, yeah, I take but, it apart so people can but see. But I love the chopper as well. So what you are doing this month is that Pampered Chef calls August the fundraiser give back. Double donation month. Double donation month. And so um, uh, Anne has been, I'm so lucky to have the right connections has been so um, helpful in making sure that both of our retreat centers are outfitted with as much Pampered Chef as we possibly can. And so that has been um, wonderful. So now it's our time to give back. And um, we, I, I won't uh, say other than so sorry um, that ALS has affected you and your family. We all wish it was different. Because it sucks, right? Absolutely. And so um, this is our opportunity at Hen and Chick Studio to help spread the word um, that if you would like to place an order and um, be able to double those donations for um, ALS this month, the link is in the comments. If any of you have questions about it, let me know. The link for the cookbook is in there. And if anybody buys the cookbook on um, the link today, uh, in, in the next couple weeks, I'll make sure we even put a little extra in from Hen and Chick Studio okay. um, towards ALS just to make sure we get that taken care of too. Um, and then if you, I just, can you, can you go back here to the corner just a little bit? 
Um, and I'm going to just move my screen a second here so I can see. But we'll this, move this out. This Heidi is, loves this tool. I just have to say, our other right favorite here. tool is right here. And if you do not have the Pampered Chef Air Fryer, um, because it does everything. We cook in this and we reheat. Leftovers are no longer like the dreaded food at our house because um, we, we love this little thing. So um, Absolutely. anyway, man, we are fortunate to have both retreat centers have one of these. So if you want to experience it, you certainly can um, at Hen and Chick Studio. So thank you so much, Anne. And I think that covers what we need to cover today, but we certainly would love all of our Hen and Chick Studio customers to help out. And um, if you have any questions about what we are, where the link is or anything, you just let us know and we'll make sure we get that to you. Thank you, Heidi. Thank you. Yes, All absolutely. Right. And I'll just say goodbye to my people and tell you, if you've heard me talk about crafting and creating sewing, wool applique, hooking at Hen and Chicks, that is the retreat centers I'm talking about. So I'd love to have you join me there. In fact, I'm going once at the end of the month, going again in September. So if that interests you, I might even cook at it for you. See you soon.